This is the man the opposition wants as their top official in the unity government, at least for now. Tabandengai was their chief negotiator during talks to end the civil war, and on Saturday he made clear he is determined the peace deal he helped cut will prevail. Temporary absence of the, our first vice president and our chairman, I will work in full cooperation with my president and Comrade James Waniga so that we have peace in this country. Riyak Machar was named first vice president as part of the deal cut last August to end more than 20 months of civil war. He fled Juba last week following clashes between his forces and those loyal to the president Salva Kiir. The president gave Machar until Saturday to return and resume his duties, but Machar says he won't come back until the force proposed by the African Union is deployed. Machar left many of his political allies behind in Juba. They say they haven't heard from Machar since he left, and so they have appointed a temporary replacement without consulting him. We pledge it will not be I.O. to take this country for another war. It will not be the I.O. We want peace. We desperately need it for our survival and for the preservation of those to come. The presidency says Kiir will accept the opposition's choice of replacement, which means Taban could be named vice president before the weekend is over. Riyak Machar's whereabouts remains unknown, and just how much influence he still has on the opposition is also unclear. On Friday, Riyak issued a statement dismissing Taban Guy from his party and also asking President Salva Kiir to fire him from the government. But now Taban is in line to take Riyak Machar's job. Patrick Oyet, CCTV. Juba, South Sudan.